Hello everyone, welcome back again to OnHow channel. My name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add product reviews to Shopify homepage. I did make several videos about product reviews. Uh, one I think when it comes to importing the AliExpress reviews from a certain product directly to the product page on your Shopify store including the pictures on the reviews as well as filtering out which reviews based on the dates as well as the language and the country and do with that by the simplest way possible which is a one click obviously so if you are interested in how to add the reviews from AliExpress product page directly to your Shopify product page and all the reviews importing them at once make sure to check out my channel and the second uh, video I did about product reviews which is adding the product reviews with pictures as well as the ratings uh, I mean the star ratings below the title for the product and I did that by using the simplest or the most lightweight app on the Shopify app store because there is a lot of apps uh, when it comes to product reviews however uh, just like I mentioned in some of my videos I always do heavy research and by trying and inspecting different apps to see which one works uh, the most lightweight and it doesn't add a lot of code to your Shopify store then I use that app in my demonstration because as you might already know using too many apps on your Shopify store can affect the loading time and that's really bad for conversion rate in this video I will show you how to add product reviews on the home page and I mean the carousel that has the product reviews widget and it will be displaying on the home page and automatically uh, switching between the reviews on your products and yes that option is already available on the team customizer from uh, Shopify 2.0 they already add that section where you can add the carousel for the product reviews on the home page however uh, I don't know how or why or who actually got the idea to implement the ugly <laughs> section on the team customizer because it looks really bad it looks like a, a reviews from the like 2006 website you can barely tell it's uh, actually uh, a section from Shopify <laughs> and themselves it looks really bad so in this video I will show you how to add product reviews on the home page for your Shopify store by using the best app possible so without any more talking let's just jump to it and before we start if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button I would really appreciate that and it's completely free as well so it's a win-win situation and I mean if this video helped you out if not I apologize in advance and I hope I can be helpful for you in a future video but for now let's just get to it and show you how to add product reviews or the carousel for the product reviews on Shopify homepage and as I said the team customizer let me show you that actually so let's just access the team customizer in here so I can show you what I mean by it looks really ugly uh, the carousel for the product reviews and by the way this is the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials on and for example you see the lines that shows up on the menu right here on the header I did remove them and there is no video on the internet on how to remove them I do challenge you to find a, a single blog post or even a video on YouTube that shows you how to remove the underlines on the menu in here once you hover with the mouse over them you cannot find it and I did make that video actually because it was requested by one of my subscribers and if you are wondering why I did make a video that was requested by one of my subscriber because simply I'm working for you so let's just scroll down and let's just add the section that I said looks really ugly which is the carousel product review so let's just uh, click on add section in here and if we did click on uh, show more it will show me here a section which is the future review carousel right here as you can see so if I click on it it will show me the reviews but check out how they look like <laughs> so this is is this even considerable to be added to the Shopify store it looks like from a website as I said from 2005 or 2006 this website this uh, .html website that's only static page that's how it looks like even Aliexpress can do better than this so this is not good and you shouldn't add the product reviews with this right here so let's just uh, remove this I don't want this on my Shopify store even though if it's uh, a testing Shopify store where I do my tutorials but I don't want it to be shown in here <laughs> so let's just get back in here as I said as you already saw it looks really ugly so we need to use a certain app in order to show the product reviews with cool, really cool design and colors and so on and you can customize it however you want so you can make it unique and fits your design perfectly in order to do so the first thing you're going to do is scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as app and simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here which is the judge me product reviews and yes judge me product reviews 
can actually give you the option to show the product reviews on the home page and with really cool designs and most importantly it's customizable so you can make it unique and there is no sign you can actually disable verified by judge me banner and you can disable it completely free you don't have to pay anything so let's just click on add app and after that it will take you to the shopify dashboard and click on install app right here so give it a couple of seconds then it will take you to the installation process where you're gonna install the judge me app so obviously you're gonna go for the recommended option right here simply pick it then click on next then keep all these enabled from here then click on install widgets now and give it a couple of seconds and it will install the widgets there is a button called skip now make sure you do not click on it because if you didn't install the widgets it will not be shown on the team customizer so it will not be able to add it so right now we are good to go so simply click on yes looks great or whatever and this is the home page for the judge me app and in order to add the reviews to the home page click on customize widget right here simply click on it then it will take you to this page right here when it's going to show you all the widgets from here and after that hit over to other widgets right here on the top of the menu simply click on it and you will see some uh, options in here which is the widgets then click on reviews carousel right here simply click on it and it will show you the menus from this the first option you're going to see is how to future reviews and obviously uh, you want to keep it as automatic so you don't have to manually pick the reviews and so on if you want to pick reviews pick manual in my case i'm gonna uh, keep it as automatic and it will select the only five star reviews from the 15 i think uh, i don't remember yes 15 as you can see 15 the newest five star reviews and it will be display them in a carousel design so let's just scroll down a little bit and the first option which is the carousel team so there is multiple teams in here uh, six to be exact so just hover with the mouse over the eye icon right here and it will show you the preview for the design or the team in here so th this is the first one it doesn't have any pictures the second one has pictures as well and there is six as a sense so make sure to go for the one that you do like personally I do like this one right here uh, this is the one I do like it has pictures the date and the layout looks clean I'm gonna go for this one and scroll down a little bit and in here you're gonna see uh, you're gonna see a uh, carousel header setting so show carousel header which is the one that says right here uh, let customers speak for us so you can disable or enable the option if you disable it right here it will not be shown however I want to keep it like here so I'm gonna enable that and there is an option obviously to customize it however you want and from me for demonstration i'm going to keep it like this and the same of uh, the reviews and in here uh, n stands for number so the number of reviews it will be displayed in here and i don't think really there's any option to customize this with so i'm going to keep it as that as well and the option below it is show verified by judge me banner or not which is yeah it will show actually uh, on a badge right here it doesn't show on the review so below below 49 reviews right here it will show you the reviews are verified by judge me and it will have the link for the app if you want to disable that you can disable it as i said without even paying an extra fee or something like that and uh, i just noticed it's disabled by default i'm not sure why you can enable it like this uh, i'm not sure in your case it will be disabled or enabled however in my case i'm going to disable it so let's just disable that and scroll down a little bit and obviously the carousel content setting so show review ratings review title review text the review date and so on and i don't know if you want to disable these this is really important data and the more data you have on the reviews obviously the more uh, social proof they will be for the customer so i'm going to keep them all enabled and scroll down a little bit and in here you can see the items so by default is three as you can see so the review will have the carousel sorry will have uh, three reviews then they will be moving so each one will be let take like five seconds and you can customize their time as well so in my case i'm going to keep them as three and you can customize the height as well as the width and is here which is the auto slide interval so in here which is five seconds as you can see and you can disable this as i said in my case i'm going to keep it by default which is the five seconds is perfect or actually let me keep it as three so i'm gonna uh, change it as three seconds and scroll down a little bit and in here which is the carousel arrow settings so what i what i mean by arrow settings is it will show uh, arrows below the review so, you, uh, so the customer doesn't have to wait three seconds he can click on the arrow and it will switch back to the next review to be shown on the slider and that's really cool so i'm gonna enable this option right here uh, then obviously the color for the arrow so in my case uh, the background so i'm gonna keep it as like this uh, which is gray or let me make it a little bit darker so it looks good like this 
and the last option in here which is the picture setting so if you want to display the pictures inside the carousel which is the product pictures obviously from the reviews and you can enable or disable this option i'm going to keep it enabled because as i said uh, more data you have on the reviews more social proof it will be for the customers when they see it and we use products picture only if the reviews have other product other pictures other than uh, the pro for the product itself uh, you can enable the option and it will only show the picture products in my case i'm going to disable that because i know the reviews have pictures and the last option which is the physical size for the picture i'm going to keep it as zero because i didn't enable this option and the last thing you're going to do is click on save settings right here and the settings save it successfully and the next thing you're going to do is head over to the team customizer so let's just click on online store from here then click on customize right here then scroll down to the part where you're going to add the product reviews carousel so let's just add it at the bottom of the page by the way if you are interested in how to set a, a picture only for a section i mean background picture this is a background picture only for a section without uh, set in a background picture for the whole Shopify store as you can see make sure to check out my channel and make that video as well as well as changing the background uh, color for only a section and again there is no video on YouTube that shows you these tricks and I did make that video as well so let's just scroll down and let's just click on the plus button and after that scroll down a little bit and we'll show you the sections that are based on apps and the first one which is the reviews carousel right here so let's just click on it and it will be added below the contact as form as you can see and here raised as you can see this is the carousel and if it looks smaller you can get back to the settings and add more because uh, I did keep it as three like right here uh, actually let me uh, save this then let me open up Shopify store and check out how does it look like here raised, as you can see so let's just get back to the uh, settings for the app and let's just pick four uh, reviews actually not three yeah four looks better as you can see and here is the arrows that we did set them as you can see if i click on them it will switch back to the next review and that's how you add product reviews to shopify homepage. and as i said if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i do reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one